What's up, Kuyons? This is Ryan Noob coming back with a, another bottle pop review today, actually. I got this uh, JT Mellick Cash Strength Single Barrel from uh, Skanata's Pick. And a uh, big fan of the original, so I figured I would uh, give this a bottle pop and a quick review. See what we could do with it. Now, I say bottle pop. I got some uh, whiskey in a glass right here. Obviously, I haven't popped it yet. This is going to be my warm-up whiskey. Get the palate good drinking. Now, you might guess, say, hey, what's the warm-up whiskey? Well, we're going to start with the the regular JT Mellet. And this one uh, comes in at 48% uh, alcohol, so 96 proof. And uh, we did a couple of reviews on this already. I did a review, and Randy did a review. And we're going to try the cash strength, which comes in at 120 proof. So 60% alcohol. So 96 versus uh, six, or 96 proof versus 120. 24 proof difference there. Or alcohol. Oh, the power just went out. So, sitting in my shop, figure best time to go ahead and do a review. Oh, let's go ahead and get this thing popped open and uh, get it in a glass. Oop, this one uh, popped a little easier than the last one I tried to do on camera. All right, I've been really excited. For this for a while even when the original jt millet when i heard about them making a whiskey i was excited i couldn't wait i had to wait for a few years for that but now a cast strength oh damn boy boy they put that thing on there there we go nice pop well that's a tight cork All right, got a nice fresh glass here. Cool. All right, get that up there. Now, I got a little story thing on the back, too, just like before, but on the other review, we uh, kind of read through it. I ain't got that much light in my shop right now, so... Oh, I'll let that sit for a few minutes. Mm. Now this regular JT Mellick is real smooth. Kind of like a creamy sweetness to it. Proofing is, like I said, 96, so it's you don't really get too much bite out of it. Kind of hoping this other one. With the higher alcohol pops off a little bit more gives it that lift off gives it some uh some heat some bite let's give it a nose get too much on the nose it's I would think I'd get more alcohol but I really just smooth maybe a little cherry you could definitely smell a little of the sweetness but getting too much oh, there's a little bit of uh, vanilla caramel I really thought that would burn the nose more being 120 but 
was so subtle. Screw it. Let's try to taste, see what it's like. Oh. That is dangerous. Really dangerous. Oh. 120 proof, man. I almost can't believe that. It's. That's smoother and easier drinking than, say, some 100 proofs that I've had. Almost cannot tell that there's that much alcohol in there at all. Second sip. It definitely has a little bit more uh, bite, a little bit more pop off on the end. Going down. I like it. I like that. That little bit of burn at the end. It helps lift the alcohol off your tongue. Gives you those other flavors. You got the oak and the sweetness. Uh, it's that oaky sweetness. Oh yeah. I know on this bottle, kind of said it had kind of like a, a creamy, kind of like cheesecakey taste to it. And I have to say the same thing with this. It's really the same thing, just a little more alcohol. Even though you really can't tell. But uh, I guess the rice really just hides it. Kind of like a weeded whiskey. It just blends everything in very well. Oh. Got that sweet oak. Creamy. A little bit of burn on the end. Man, that thing is dangerous, though. Whew. Could probably sit there and drink that bottle and not realize it until you uh, fall on over Cos ate it. Oh. Can't wait to try this again after it's opened up a little bit more. I picked this up yesterday, and I wanted to do the bottle pop review last night, but I just wasn't feeling good, so I figured I'd wait till today. Now the power's out, and I ain't got nothing better to do besides sit here and drink whiskey and record stuff. Put up some Christmas tree stuff here in a little bit. Mm. It just sits on the tongue so nicely. Coats it. I cannot believe it don't. It just has no burn to it. It has that little pop off at the end, but... It's so smooth. I mean, that might be the smoothest high-proof whiskey I've ever had. I guarantee. I bet you, you could give this to somebody who don't drink whiskey, and they would, you know, being at the higher proof, you think they'd be like, ah. Oh. I, I bet they hardly tell. This drinks so so easily. So good. I think it would be a great mixer too because it just everything is real mellow in it it don't no real harshness to it at all so it probably would blend and mix well with different drinks <clears throat> Man. Uh, review scale wise what would I give this uh, I had to say I like it let's pour a little bit more of this we can try it side by side I mean they really are the same thing now this is a single barrel I don't taste any alcohol in that now
got that little bit more pop to it a little bit more alcohol of the two I definitely prefer this because I like the higher alcohol I like that extra lift off uh, score wise whew, I really need to sit down with this a little bit more and actually do a real review not just a bottle pop I might do that later on but man uh whew, I kind of remember what I scored that as but I like it let's go a good seven and a half I think this is a very useful whiskey you could do a lot of things with it mix it drink it straight put it on the rocks it is 120 proof and drinks like nothing it, it's just got that little bit of burn to it that little bit of pop off as you swallow it that's 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 pretty much it very smooth creamy uh kind of like the cheesecake feel again just has that little bit of bite at the end a little warm vanilla I don't get too much caramel out of it creamy though I like it yep 7.5 I'd give it I'm not sure what I forgot what I did to JT Millick I think it was probably right around 7 or so the regular I'm gonna give the cash strength 7.5 might revisit and do another review later on. I'm sure Randy will. He's got a bottle. He just ain't got it yet. And, you know, he live up there in Arkansas. Oh, all right, guys. Well, that's it. I hope y'all like the review. Please like, subscribe, uh, comments. We love comments. So check y'all out next time.